This new budget is killing me. The new board, the new finance committee. Oi! How am I going to find more savings? I got it. Quick, get me Jay Shiner on the phone. Pronto! Hello? Okay, Rabbi, I know exactly what you need. I'll be right over. You and Arlene have always been such wonderful school partners. Thank you again. Oh, no, you don't, Jay. Don't you start again. I'll show him. On November 15th, Jay Shiner was asked to come to Yavne Academy help find savings around the school. That request came from Rabbi Knapp, head of school. He knew he had to make changes, but also knew his wife Arlene would fight him on the changes. Can these two come back to Yavna Academy without driving each other crazy? I've known Jay and Arlene Shiner for as long as I can remember as a Yavna parent, as well as belonging to the same shul. Jay and Arlene are quiet and simple people, but they are powerhouses behind the scenes. No matter what they get involved in, they go full in. You don't even know they're there sometimes, and it is so inspiring to see a couple that's both dedicated to our institution. They're very smart. We like to learn from them. They really care about how things come out. Things matter to them. They have professional pride in what they do, and they have pride in what they do as volunteers. They're able to balance this idea of being uniquely kind and uniquely passionate. Arlene grew up in Teaneck. I grew up in Chicago. We were looking for a co-ed orthodox school uh, with a big presence in Teaneck, at Bergenfield, and New Milford. Arlene is really like the type of person that once you get to know her, she really opens up and she's sweet and funny, really dedicated to whatever she puts her time and energy into. Arlene is unflappable, very dedicated to everything that she does. She is an absolute powerhouse. If you need something done, call Arlene. She will make sure it gets done. I was first introduced to Jay probably about 10, 12 years ago uh, as a member of the Finance Committee. I've had the privilege of working with Jay on the Finance Committee specifically for the past two, three years. Not only does he have a huge sense of the numbers and how to work with that, he also thinks broadly and he thinks about what's best for our school and that's a committed board member. Jay, the way that you took the Finance Committee to the next level, thinking about it and challenging us, challenging other members of your finance team to make sure we're doing everything we can for the kids, that we're treating our faculty with, with class and respect, and we're doing everything that we can to keep tuition affordable and as low as possible for our Yatha families. And he just has a tremendous sense of numbers, a tremendous sense of organization, is always working to find ways to uh, improve the budget, to save the school money, to save the parents' money as best as he possibly can. He cares about the quality of education, and he cares about making sure that every dollar that the yeshiva spends is being spent wisely and is justified. I've been on the YPAA board for a number of years. Our twins were in first grade, and Amy said, do you want to get involved in the YPAA? Uh, little did we know what we were getting ourselves into. And uh, the next day, Pam Scheininger called us and said, will you do the calendar and directory? We talked about so many of the real series projects that she brought to our school. Those projects have lasting impact. The school calendar, the school directory, the school discount card. 
I mean, those were all you. When we were younger, every single year, we would help label the directories and sort them. And one year, they accidentally messed up one of the names. They printed a child's name with dashes instead of her name. And Arlene said, this is a problem. We can't send out the directory with this child's name wrong. It was also a new family to Yavna. They just moved in. Arlene went and printed labels, tiny little labels with this child's name. There were three places in the directory where we had to put these stickers on. We made our kids help us. We had a full assembly line. We would pass the open up to the right page. One person would put the sticker in. And it was a fun Sunday afternoon at the Shiners where we stickered her name and made sure that her name would be in the directory. But that's the way Arlene is. She was inclusive and she didn't want anybody to feel left out. Like if anyone would ask Arlene to do something, she wouldn't want to say no, but she would always put Yavna first. I think it's important for our kids to see us involved. I think they want to get involved when they see us getting involved in the school. My parents really try to give back to the community of Yavna and like just our community in general, and it taught me to give back to my community as well. One day when I'm hopefully a parent at Yavna, I want to do what they do. The impact they've had on the school, I think it inspires other couples and other families to say, hey, we can get involved. I think that's a model of volunteerism that can be inspiring to others. Put a lot of work into the school. It's not a surprise that you're being honored. When we were asked for the honor, it really wasn't something that we were looking for at all, but uh, we've just always enjoyed volunteering for the school that our children have gone to and, and helped to raise our children. Why wouldn't you want to be involved in the place where, where your kids go, where they're getting an education? They should see you participating and that's part of learning too. We love you, we're so proud of you for getting this award and showing your dedication to Yavna. To the Shiners, I would like to raise a glass of Shiner beer. Mazel tov on a great honor, you deserve it. We love you and we're so proud of you.